Okay, so where the video left off. Um, so if it was a positive and a negative charge, the, again, the field lines can't cross, so they would help each other out. The positive wouldn't want that little positive charge we're placing in the field. The negative would, and so the curving of the field lines, because they can't cross, would end up looking like this. Right? And so, like, they would come out and curve around out of the positive into the negative. Now, I probably should go back and explain a couple of things. One is, I had said it was defined, meaning scientists, physicists got together and decided we will determine the direction of an electric field based on a po the direction of the force on a positive charge. It's called a positive test charge or a unit charge. Remember from our vectors there the other day. So they're assuming that it's like it doesn't really have any size, it just has the positive negative. I always think of it as like your little kid brother that or a little kid that you might know that's always positive and like that you like you know, so you say, I'm gonna go watch TV, wanna come? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna go get ice cream, wanna come? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna go jump off the roof, wanna come? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like they're always positive, they'll agree with anything you say. And if you do happen to have one of those little kids in your life, you probably use them as a test. You probably send them into a situation. Go ask mom if we can go out for pizza. And you see how your mother or father, whoever, you know, go go find out if you send them in. You toss them in there and you want you find out what the nature of the central object is. So if you throw them into your father and you see how your father reacts, then it tells you the nature of your father. Is it positive or negative? So when you hear us talking about the nature of a charge, it means is it positive or negative? So scientists long time ago decided to use this positive test charge to test out the nature of the central charge creating the field. If it got pushed away, it meant the nature of the central charge was positive. If it got pulled in, it meant the nature of the central charge was negative. Right, so the nature just refers to, is a charge positive or negative? It also is kind of like our nature. You know, on a given day, your nature could be positive. You could be in a good mood. On another day, it could be negative, and I know not to pick on you. They use this positive test charge because way back then, they assumed that it was positive charge that was what created um, both charge and electricity. They assumed it was a positive charge that did all the moving around. The same way they assumed that if you were left-handed, you were possessed by the devil, they assumed, you know, the creator of the universe wouldn't have used a negative charge. It would have used a positive charge. Okay, we now know they were wrong, but by the time they figured that out, and they figured it out with the discovery of what the atom really looks like, and that the positive charge is stuck inside the nucleus, so it can't be a positive charge moving around, by the time they figured that out, it was too late. Like, the whole world was using this convention, and they didn't want to have to go back and change everything, so they left it. I'll talk about that in, again in a couple of minutes when we get back um, when I when, when I get to current, but they it's all based on in the beginning they assumed it would be positive charge that was the charge that was moving around, and so that's why our field lines around electric in electric fields are the way they are. Uh, I also need I I skipped over something when we were talking about that F Q equation, so the force F Q is equal to K Q Q over R squared. When it was gravity, it would always be positive. But when for electrostatics, this force, it can be negative. It depends on, again, the nature of the two Qs. If the two Qs are both positive, then FQ will be positive. If the two Qs are both negative, then FQ will be negative, right? So positive and positive will give you a positive FQ. A negative and negative will give you a positive FQ. But if one charge is positive and the other charge is negative, then you will get a negative FQ. Now stop for a second and think about what does the positive FQ and the negative FQ mean? Two positive charges 
repel each other. Two negative charges repel each other. So whenever you get a positive FQ, it means it's a force of repulsion. If it's a positive charge and a negative charge, they're going to attract each other. So a negative FQ is a force of attraction. And a lot of people say, wait, that's opposite to the way it should be. Wouldn't Like in our head, we might think a positive FQ should be attraction. So here's the way you're going to remember it. It's set up for me. Because if you're a nun, a force of attraction is a negative thing, right? Makes the vow of celibacy very difficult. So a force of attraction is a negative thing. If you're in a relationship with someone else and you feel a force of attraction to a different person, definitely a negative thing. Forces of repulsion make life much easier, okay? So forces of attraction are a negative thing. Repulsion, they're the positive. Um, all right, a couple, just a couple more equations. So what equations do we have then so far? We have FQ equals KQQ over R squared. We have E, electric field, is equal to KQ over R squared. And E is equal to FQ over Q. Okay, so we have three. There's one more in electrostatics. These ones you're going to use over the weekend for homework, but then not again in the course. We'll just refer to them as we figure out our magnetisms one, ones. But the next one you actually will, it'll come up quite a bit. It's V is equal to W over Q. Now, it comes from this, so this is the electric field. It comes from a concept, it's known as um, electric potential difference. Electric potential difference. And it really comes from the idea of work. So if I have a positive charge and I have my little positive test charge, then I need to do work on it to get it into close to this positive charge. It's not wanna, gonna wanna go there. And work done is equal to, if you remember from physics, F delta D cos theta. Okay, so we're going to assume the cos theta is just going to go to 1. So work done is going to be equal to kqq over r squared times the r, the distance you're moving it. So work done will be equal to kqq over r. And if you remember from the work unit in grade 11, that is actually equal to energy. Remember the change in energy. In this case, it's the change in electric potential energy. We've done gravitational potential energy. We've done elastic potential energy. This one is electric potential energy. It would be measured in joules. It's a scalar. So after they had this electric potential energy is equal to this, they were like, but what if I just wanted to know what the potential was at a point? Like, what if I made this charge that I brought in a unit charge, meaning its size was only one? So I could divide this, really, by a Q. So if I divide this by a Q, I will find the potential at this spot, the electric potential difference at this spot. And what it gives me, then, will be work divided by Q, and it gives me what's known as electric potential difference. Its units are joules over coulomb, and we call joules over coulomb, we give it a new name, it's called a volt. So this is also known as voltage, that's where the V comes from. So it's electric potential difference or voltage. This one shows up a lot in magnetism, so I just wanted to show it to you. Okay, and over the weekend it'll be these four that I'll ask you to do questions on. I would like to just talk about electricity for a couple of minutes, which means one more video, but I promise it won't be very long, and then we'll be done the review, because we're about to run out of time here on this one. But I just want to talk, whoops, get it in the cube, for a couple of minutes about electric current. Okay, um, an electric current, fortunately or unfortunately, its letter is I. Okay, 